welcome to uh, this session with uh, Dr. Mick Kirsten and I. And uh, you know, as you know at PlanView, we're passionate about building the future of connected work, the digital future of connected work. And in doing so in the last several years, we've been investing heavily in connecting the dots, the connecting the dots between how strategic level decisions get made in the organization on transformations, on project and product initiatives, how those flow through the middle of the organization at the team of teams level, and then how they get connected back into the teams level organization where the rubber hits the road. We've also been connected the dots in terms of what happens across the entire life cycle from ideation to outcome. And of course, doing so in both enabling project and product work. We see most organizations living in this hybrid world of doing waterfall oriented project initiatives and also doing a lot more agile oriented product initiatives. So uh, rather than just talking about the theory, uh, I'm gonna ask uh, you know, Mick here to help you all see this and visualize this through the demo of our platform and, and see how we brought all these different data elements together and also how we're unleashing the power of AI and generative AI in bringing all these different elements together in a closed loop way. So Mick, why don't you orient us to the platform? Sure, what we're seeing here, Razat, is Plan Without Me, where we have all the key elements of our platform specific to my role, all showing as widgets. So I really care about OKRs, I care about flow metrics, I want to understand how my teams are doing, and really how we're tracking on our roadmap. So all of this is in one place. So Copilot is now not just conversing with me, so our generative AI solution, Plan V Copilot, it is actually analyzing the data live in the background to always be assisting me. Can yeah. I ask a quick question on the Copilot? So obviously there's an, it's probably, a, I know there's an LLM foundation model down, you know, uh, uh, underpinning this, uh, but what else have we done in terms of supplemental data sets to engineer this Copilot that is relevant to this solution? So what we've got here is all of the data connected between, again, when I'm seeing my objectives and key results, my delivery teams, uh, my roadmap, my portfolio, and the dependencies between those things. So it's now showing me that it's concerned, in addition to the fact this team is working more on defects, it's able to do some very powerful analysis. And in the background, Copilot analyzed that the partner API team, so one of my teams, is very unlikely to meet the commitments for this PI. It understands my planning increments, right? It understands that we need to deliver this for this quarter. It understands dependencies between things because those things are all on our platform. So it's really those LLMs combined with our platform are where we're getting that power. And, and part of what we've done in the platform and the data foundations you're talking about is define the ontology because a lot of the data sets will be coming from our systems, a lot of the data sets will be coming from other third-party systems, in-house developed systems, et cetera, right? So having that common ontology so the LLMs can interpret well has been a big learning and a big unleash for us. Exactly. So all of that work that we've done, all the work our customers have done in, in deploying and connecting the, the, the PlanView platform to their team tools is, is actually showcased here. Because what I'm seeing actually is this delivery data, the velocity of this team is going down. They're going to get less and less done. Something is wrong. We're now seeing this analysis, right? It actually says the bottleneck appears to be the partner portal team. Their flow velocity has been low. They're not getting enough work done, whatever that reason might be. Uh, and because everything's connected, I can actually go ahead and do what it's prompted me to do, which is to escalate this issue to the lead of that team. Our Agile Place solution, of course, has the mapping between uh, teams, teams of teams, and, uh, and the actual people there. So I can go ahead and say yes um, and escalate that. Not only have you understood you know, the needle in the haystack problem, what, what, what is causing this, this decline in the flow velocity, but now you've also taken an action in notifying people who are relevant to know about this. Right, exactly. And I think right now in Plan Without Me with Copilot's help, I see the problem. But of course, we want to close the loop on solving the problem, on actioning yes. it. And in this case, Evelyn, the, the VP of engineering responsible here, we really need her help, right? So let's go into her view of the world, which now is in, in Plan View Viz. Uh, she's now been notified that the partner API team is, again, extremely likely to meet their commitments. And 
she, you know, she needs to help us identify how we're going to pull this needle out of the haystack. So Copilot's now asking if she wants to discuss because, of course, it has all of that context and is really offering two suggestions, either to help Evelyn find the bottleneck, so really undercover, is the team overloaded? They actually kind of looks like they're overloaded. They've got too much work in progress. Uh, Evelyn, and with Copilot itself, can actually find a team with capacity. So Copilot will now do this analysis because, again, all that delivery data, all those issues, uh, all the release management pieces, are, they're all connected. Uh, and so if a team has now just finished a chunk of work, and then Copilot will know. Wow. And, and, and how is it able to get connected? I mean, a big part of that is the connective tissue we have and, and sort of the patented integration to all these different teams tools. Our customers are actually able to capture their operating model, whether it's more product oriented, more project oriented, some hybrid, agile, all of that. It's all defined and connected through something we call the flow fabric to the team tools. So that's key for two reasons. So number one, uh, this means that we can display all this data both in planv.me, in Viz and our user interfaces, uh, but we can also act on this data. So, the, and that's really the, the really- It's bi-directional. It's really. bi-directional, yeah. 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 So what Copilot said here is based on this data, the Tiger team you know, sees it's really recently completed a critical project and actually has capacity because we see whatever tool they use, by the way, they could be using Asana for all we care, right? Uh, whatever tool they're using, we can see that. The PlanView platform sees that, so Copilot sees it. And I can actually say, go ahead and assign this work to the Tiger team. So it's going ahead and notifying the Tiger teams, but also updating the boards, the work boards, that this is a new piece of work that has been assigned to the Tiger team. That's right, exactly. Yeah. And there's a, if you squint here, you'll see that it's actually doing a cost estimate because of course in the Planet yes. platform we have cost information. Yes. So it's giving me a heads up that if we actually reassign this Tiger team, that's not gonna be free, right? We actually know how much this team costs because we're, chances are they're gonna take to the end of the, this particular PI to complete That sucks as they're not going to be for free. Okay, <laughs> but okay. Exactly, yeah. Things cost money. It yeah. does. I can actually say generate a, a PowerPoint point summary so I can show Razat. Here's the PI plan update. I can click on this. Uh, I got downloaded, open it up. You, you just generated a deck here that would take, I don't know, like, 30 minutes yes. in basically three seconds. Yeah, we all know how pain, how, how often we have to do this. Now it does it for you. I'm not a big <laughs> fan of PowerPoint slides, as you know. No, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But all of that was done and summarized again in PowerPoint to be communicated so that we can actually, re the key thing is that we can actually reallocate this work to where it belongs. That's amazing. Now, let's, let's think about and shift the persona to what happens at the at the team's level, you know, let's think about the software engineer. What would they, like, how do they receive all this and then how do they interface? Because they typically don't be, will not be working in Plan View Viz, right? Uh, they'd be working in whatever tools they're using for their, their, their development work. That's right, exactly. Plan View Viz is tailored to the engineering manager who's supporting the teams, but of course, oftentimes this happens and everyone forgets about the development teams. We just dumped a whole bunch of work yeah. <laughs> onto this development yeah. team. So now let's go and, and uh, take the role of the developer and here I am in, in this case, in Visual Studio Code. So that's my home as a developer, in this case, as the head of this Tiger team, working on this This, this is, uh, this is uh, you 15 years ago, this is your happy place. Exactly, this is really my happy place. It actually brings me some joy whenever I see <laughs> this yeah. interface. Uh, and I can actually now say, working within GitHub Copilot, so their solution that helps me with coding activities, as a developer, actually a lot of my research was on this, we need to connect developers to the work they're doing. If you just dumped a bunch of work on them, you're interrupting them, they need to understand it. It could take them hours to read all the context that was there, but instead we've actually integrated the PlanView Copilot right into GitHub Copilot. So check this out. I can say PlanView Copilot, I can say what, the heck just landed on our backlog. That sounds like a software engineer to me. Yep, and it's, uh, I don't have to be shy with Copilot. <laughs> <laughs> All of the data privacy is in place. But, but this is interesting. We, we're instantiating uh, the PlanView Copilot within the GitHub Copilot. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So the neat thing about these Copilots, they're very tailored to specific roles, right? So you've seen how they're tailored to the various personas, just like PlanView dummy can be tailored to personas. Uh, in this case, we can take the context of what the developer is working on, 
as well as the fact that the Plan View Copilot is connected to our whole platform. It sees every issue tracker, every incident, all of those sorts of things. And without me having to leave this environment, go read a whole bunch of Agile place cards, Jira issues, um, all those sorts of things. It's actually taken all of that and done what these large language models do really well when you feed them the right things, which is summarized it for me. This is enough context for me to see that uh, some people in leadership are confused because we've already done this. The Tiger team's yeah. actually worked on this, so I can, I can, I can say that. I can I tell Plan to Copilot, uh, put a comment on the card saying that we already have an SSO service, service and can have this running tomorrow. And this happens all the time when you've got yep. hundreds and thousands of projects and products going on. Uh, and hundreds and thousands of engineers working exactly. on different things. That's right, yeah. yeah. So connecting all of them surfaces that right needle at the right time, and you can see this comment's now been added. So. That's amazing. Now, let's go to my happy place. Um, how would the product manager look at what's, what's, the, what's the flow of work happening, and, and how would they be able to uh, get, get value from these, these connection points? Yeah, exactly, because all of this, we've been actually changing some of the planning. The product manager roles are key here, right? They see the roadmaps, they'll see the comments right into the roadmaps, but in the end, the place where product managers are happiest tends to be looking at these boards. So we refresh the Agile Place boards, uh, they're looking great, and of course, we've Power them with all these co-pilot capabilities as well. So if a roadmap item moved, I'd see it here. If an issue was updated and whatever team tool was being used, whatever issue tracker, I'd see it all here. Uh, but then if we've given the power of these actions to the product manager as well. So uh, Razad, I know one thing that did I know you when in your days as a product manager was writing release notes. So of course, given that everything's connected. It wasn't connected, my, the most <laughs> enjoyable part of being a product manager. That's right. <laughs> One of the co-pilot actions, of course, to take all of this connected work, both the cards and the, the cards, what they're connected to, uh, and actually we can just create all the release notes through Copilot now as well. So it's just been incredible. So it's auto-generating the release notes based on its knowledge of what work has been completed. Yep. And it knows, and it's always accurate, right? So you're not getting this information from Slack. You're actually getting it from the source of truth. Uh, which is all the work that we're seeing here in, in Agile Place. You can edit it, of course, but the key thing is that once all the data is in the right place, all these automations, all these actions, all these insights, uh, they become easy, which is why we've been able to innovate at this, at this, at this incredibly fast rate through Copilot. That's incredible, Mick. Well, hopefully you found that helpful and useful. This is really, what is the art of the possible in how organizations plan and deliver you know, digital work and, and how they innovate in their digital product development initiatives. So hope you found that helpful. Thank you so much, Mick. Thanks for that.